Hi. Alrighty, here's a here's time for hopefully your quick late uh, late out of date uh, NXT review. NXT happened. Apparently, again, the show was taped, so I don't know. I was busy to even do review anyway, so let's, let's talk about this, shall we? Let's talk about this quick, because I don't want to talk about this too much, and I'm very tired. So the show started with Solo Sokoa and Kamala Hayes entering my, uh, Shawn Michaels' office. And Michael tells Solo Sokoa that he competed in a match that was not sanctioned to participate. Therefore, the result does not stand, and he requested Solo Sokoa, uh, Sokoa to surrender the title. So, yeah, what was the point of that? Like, yeah, that just makes the guy look looks dumb and retarded or whatever. I don't know. I just think it looked dumb. In the end of the day, I'm actually kind of like I actually like don't mind this happening, but because like I just think it's retarded. Like he's in the main roster now, but it's like it's dumb poorly because it just makes no sense. Like if anything, again, like I would just rather like if you need the guy to have a title or something, the guy should just type a uh, challenge for you to IC or UK t or US title or whatever. Preferably a US title, I think that would be way better. And yeah, he's the right of the title. <sighs> and yeah, it's not that, oh, the title will be defending a fatal five way match in the next pay per view or whatever, or wherever it is. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, second, uh, first match is the second match of the best of three series. Nathan Frazier defeats Oxyam, and like, who fucking cares? So it's some bullshit where, I don't know, they're having a friendly rivalry, and I don't know why this is happening, I don't care. Uh, we get a sit-down interview with this guy named Damon Kemp. I don't know, he says, uh, bullshit. I don't care. I'm tired. It's like, who fucking cares? Some bullshit. Then, you know, he's betrayed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane defeats N Ivy Nile and Tatum Paxley. Alright, good for them, I guess. Um, but it is what it is. We see a video of Alba Fire says she's willing to burn Manny Rose's empire to the ground. Wow, what we do. The day it defeats some black jobbers. Cora Jade defeats Wendy Chu. Good, I guess. Well, Flash Last Night uh, delivers a pump kick. To Chu. Maxi who CC some person named Oreo uh, Mensha says that Oreo means gold and here comes the country of gold. While his Trick Williams are in the ring, he, he says the vote or no vote, he is the biggest star of NXT. He calls with all your crew to time keeps. I don't know, some, some bullshit. And then the Andre Chase's university comes out says that. This is going to be a teaching moment, whatever, and it's like, who cares, like, why? I don't know. It just leads to a stupid match, where it's an improv 2 match, apparently. It's like, really, this is happening. Andre Chase and Bo Bodie Hayward, whatever, defeated Kamala Hayes and Trick Williams. Ron Wagner defeats Sanga, whatever. Some guy that looks like Ron Breaker. Not Ron Breaker, fucking uh, Veer Mahan. How, how did I get these two fucking mixed up? Wesley says, you know, I'm gonna get clear to the people. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna take any chances that I'm gonna make sure I win the title because blah blah blah. And Tony D'Angelo says, well, if you go, they're not letting you take any easy or whatever. I don't know. So I guess Tony D'Angelo will be part of this match too. Warrior Minshaw defeats Grayson Wall to qualify for the North American title. Like, why? Uh, who is this Oreo guy? And then after, yeah, apparently this was because of Paul Paulo Cruz is now bleeding from his eye. But why is he bleeding from his eye? I don't fucking want to care. But I thought fucking this show is PG where they can't bleed or whatever. I don't give a fuck. We see backstage uh, the one of the Cree, like their Cree brothers are discussing like, oh, who's gonna fucking face whatever? And I just like, I don't care. Uh, another video for Soul, Ruka, whatever, who cares? Uh, 
apparently she's like on a surfer bitch, but hey, good for her, I guess. Uh, in the main event, the number one contenders match between North uh, for the NXT title, JD Madonna defeats Tyler Bate. After the match, Farmbreaker and McDonough stared down with that. Oh, they returned to each other dragging off or whatever. Yeah, great. More midgets face off, and yeah, they're all facing off, so. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. So that's like a triple threat for this crap. I'm just tired. This show was not worth it, okay? But yeah, like the whole big news about the Sosa Cola, the relationship title, like. He's getting stripped. I do think it's retarded how they do it, but then, like, honestly, fuck it. I'm just happy he doesn't have the title that way he doesn't look dumb, you know, already, like, when he wins the title, already he has to, like, kind of guarantee to lose sometimes, so it's like, okay. Anyways, but overall, the show is pretty shit. Look like a fucking, like, a suffer velocity, but that's for damn sure. Anyways, I don't say she's evil until next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. I'm just tired, and... If you didn't notice, I did close my magnificently. That's because I couldn't drink it magnificently, okay? I'm tired. Peace, people. Yeah, bye.